and Balloon City 6 abilities are really useful when it comes to beating certain events and game modes. In this video, we'll be going over the top 5 best tower abilities in BTD6. I'll be listing their entire lines of abilities, so expect to hear both tier 4 and 5 versions of each tower. Also, Paragon and Heroes abilities will not be on the list and will be getting their own separate video. And at number 5, we have First Strike Capability. This ability launches a missile at the strongest balloon on the screen, dealing 10,000 damage to the target and 350 damage to any balloons around it. This is up there for being one of the most consistent tier 4 abilities in the game for chimps and occasionally bosses. Usually players will purchase the upgrade right before round 100 to use it right before the bad breaks to one shot it, meaning it won't spawn any moabs underneath. For bosses, players will use two of them to one shot the first tier of Blunarius. This is also one of the few abilities where it doesn't upgrade in the next tier, maintaining the exact same effect with a shorter cooldown. Preemptor Strike really isn't that good, so I won't be covering it here, but First Strike capability is at number 5 for being the most consistent way of handling round 100. At our number 4 spot, we have Ground Zero and TSR Bomba. Ground Zero's ability drops a nuke on the entire map dealing 700 damage. TSR also drops a nuke on the entire map, instead dealing 3000 damage and stunning all Moab class balloons excluding bads. Both of these abilities are quite strong and require some micro for optimal usage. Timing these abilities are essential for certain rounds. Ground Zero is quite good for races as a strong finish, using it right as the last balloon spawns in to clean up the board as fast as possible. TSAR on the other hand is mostly used for chimps as a strong finish and for its CC. These abilities aren't as common as others, but are very powerful in the right hands, which is why it's at number 4 on our list. And at number 3, we have Summoning Phoenix and Wizard Lord Phoenix. Summoning Phoenix's ability summons a phoenix that flies around the map shooting fire that deals 5 damage to balloons. Wizard Lord Phoenix now has a permanent Summoning Phoenix while also being able to turn itself into a more powerful phoenix, dealing 20 damage to balloons. These abilities are powerhouses. Mostly used in blackboarding, they are quite resourceful in CT as well. It's common for players to spam phoenixes due to them having such a shorter cooldown, and Wizard Lord is considered the strongest out of the tier 5s. What makes them so useful is the lower tiers. More specifically, Wall of Fire is a really good early game upgrade that will transition you into more powerful upgrades later on. The only downside being purples. But Wizard Lord's ability now allows them to pop purples. So because of all of these reasons, that is why they're here at number 3. But there are two more better than this one. And coming in at number 2, we have Balloon Sabotage and Grand Saboteur. Balloon Sabo slows all the balloons on the screen by 50%. Grand Sabo also slows all the balloons on the screen, but also causes all incoming Moab class balloons to spawn at 75 HP as well. These abilities are some of the best abilities in BTD6 due to how versatile they can be. More often than not, you will be able to benefit by using them. Balloon Sabo is a very common buy in chips due to it being extremely cheap and powerful. Grand Sabo is one of the best late game abilities because of its scaling. No matter what round you're on, it'll work on all types of balloons including bads. Ninjas are also one of the best strats in the game currently for black bordering. Players also even stack a few balloon sabos for its ability to be active 100% of the time. Sabo is an extremely good ability but there's one other ability that's a little bit better. And in our number one spot we have Overclock and Ultra Boost. For those who don't know, Overclock boosts the attack speed of a tower by 66%, 25% range for villages, and 66% more money for farms. Ultra Boost does the same in addition of giving a permanent stacking buff that stacks up to 10 times. I believe everyone saw this coming. Overclock is considered to be the best tier 4 upgrade in the entire game and Ultra Boost is probably the best late game tier 5 upgrade. You know, besides TSG. The fact that they can buff every tower makes them versatile, they have a fairly short cooldown, they're able to be spammed. To say the least, there's a reason why Overclock is probably the most common tier 4 in the game, only lacking in races. They're amazing everywhere else, which is why they're number 1 on our list of the best tower abilities in BTD6. If you enjoyed today's video, consider liking and subscribing for more. And if you feel like I missed a certain ability that deserves to be on the list, let me know in the comments.